Hey, how we doing gang? Thanks for dropping by and welcome to yet another one of my acoustic guitar strings reviews. Um, and today we're actually looking at these uh, strange strings. Let's see if we can get that up in focus. The Tomastic Infield Classical S Steel Strings Steel Strings for your classical guitar. Now, <clears throat> Quick disclaimer first, I would never ever advise anybody to try putting acoustic strings or steel strings onto a um, well-built, hand-built classical guitar that's built for nylon or gut strings because the um, normally uh, steel strings or acoustic strings are actually double the tension of uh, your nylon strings and so if you try putting standard uh, acoustic um, steel strings onto a classical guitar you're just going to rip the neck off or even worse just rip the bridge up or, or bend bend the body and completely destroy your guitar so what have we got here these ones are actually built specifically these are steel strings that are actually built specifically for a classical guitar and if you go on the actual amazon website it says on there um click i'll leave you a link actually for it down in the description it actually says on there steel strings for classical guitar now the other disclaimer I will add on there, if you actually go onto the Tomastic Infield website, their own website, uh, and look these up, the Classical S, you need to look for the KF10, where it says KF10 there, Precision, it needs to say KF10 Precision on the top, because they also do a Classical S, exactly the same packaging, exactly the same colour, and it actually says Rope Core, it's KF10. 116 instead of the KF1110. So look out for that. I'll leave you a link as I said down below because the rope core ones, the KF116, are identical to the John Pierce finger picking folk strings, also made by Tomastic Infield, that I did a review on um, a while back. So be careful with that because if you buy the ones that say Classical S KF116 rope core, you're buying the same strings as the John Pierce finger picking folk strings and they are actually twice the price um, of the, uh, as the John Pierce one so be careful with that one but let's get back to these ones first classical S if you go on to the actual Tomastic infield website look up those strings there it doesn't actually state that they're for classical guitar it actually says they're for concert guitars so there's a little bit of a play on words there. Um, I mean, do you get any uh, acoustic concert guitars? I don't know. Um, when someone tell, talks to me about a concert guitar, I, I immediately think of classical guitar. Hand-built, you know, five, six thousand dollars worth of uh, hand-built classical guitar, I would class as a concert guitar. So on the on their own website, they say steel strings for concert guitars and folk and parlor guitars. They've been built with a very, very low tension. Now, this is the other thing. As I said, normally steel strings or acoustic strings are twice the tension of your nylon or carbon strings. These actually have an overall tension of just 95.6 pound total set tension. So they're well in the range of your nylon string tensions. Um, and shouldn't do any damage at all to a normal nylon string guitar. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to play a few things on it first, let you hear what they sound like, and then I shall go into my pros, cons, likes, dislikes at the end of it, and also give you a little bit of my final thoughts um, about putting steel strings on a classical guitar. Now, we're on my Taylor 12EN, which is uh, actually built for carbon strings, and we're totally unplugged. So you're getting a natural sound, acoustic sound of these classical S steel strings for classical guitar. Let's have a little listen with a few open chords first, with a pick. just fitted them so they are actually stretching a little bit but I will say they 
go into tune very quickly and they tend to hold their tune like you would expect from a steel string. Let's uh, do a little bit more so you can hear some they actually ring out beautifully And I will say um, another little bit of a disclaimer here before you go rush out and buy these and stick them on your um, cheap little classical guitar and it rips it to pieces. I did a little bit of research first. The the Taylor uh, Academy 12 EN. A um, couple of things that you need to look out for. The bridge and the nut are exactly the same bridges and nuts that they put on their acoustic steel string guitars so I knew I wasn't going to have any problem with that. The strings that actually came from the factory, factory fitted on this, um, were the Dadario EJ46FF uh, high tension carbon strings which actually have an overall tension of set tension of 102.86 pound I think it is. So I knew that I was going to have no problem with the tension which is only 95.6 pound on these strings so I did check into that as well a um, couple of things on the specs let me just run through the specs for you on here we have a top E is uh, 0010 then we have 0014 018 024 031 and 038 so again, the sizes of your strings are completely different to what you would normally um, have on a set of standard nylon strings or carbon strings. Let me just read through what it says here. Classical S Precision are soft steel strings with polished windings specifically designed for folk and concert guitars. So there's the concert guitar bit there again. Um, the strings E, A, D and G and B. Okay. Those ones there are uh, chrome steel flat wound on a highly flexible steel core and I have to say they are absolutely polished beautifully you don't get any string noise from them at all they are so smooth it's incredible uh, the top E uh, the top E is actually made of a plain steel and um, as I've read on the website there it's actually uh, brass coated so that's a little bit on the specs on it. Let's play a couple more bits on here. They've added volume. They have added volume. They're quite well balanced across your basses and your trebles. Sustain rings on forever. It's incredible sustain on it. Really love that. Um, what are my pros and cons? Okay. problems and that could be because of the because this guitar is obviously set up for for carbon strings and the the dimensions are completely different on this 
and uh, my other one concern with it is I'm not concerned about the the top five because they're flat wound and if I can just get this I haven't cut these off for that very reason so I can show you they're actually silk wrapped on the ends and they're silk wrapped what, let's see if we can get that in there in focus silk wrapped as well on the ball ends and of course again you get one one advantage with them is you get those lovely brass ball ends there so you've got no worries about tying tying your knots with that you do have with your nylon strings um, my only concern with them is the toppy which is the brass coated steel there isn't wrapped as you can see there it's not even wrapped on the bottom end there and it's not wrapped on the top end so my only concern with this i'm not worried about my nuts i'm not worried about my bridge because i know that they're built for acoustic steel strings as well but i'm a little bit concerned maybe about the plastic tuning barrel that if i use these extensively then maybe that toppy might start cutting into the plastic tuning barrel so be careful with that if you're thinking about fitting them on on your own classical guitar other than that beautiful strings um, not sure I would use them for classical stuff um, although they ring out absolutely beautiful absolutely gorgeous sound on that and they're really lovely for finger picking pros and cons my concerns with them um, first as I mentioned I'm a little bit concerned that maybe the toppy will start cutting into the plastic tuning barrel at the top that's one concern with them uh, I like one of my likes I like the fact that they're silk wound on the ends there I like the fact that they're absolutely beautifully smooth uh, so you got, don't get any finger scratch for them they will be lovely for recording acoustic covers I know that um, they'll probably be really nice if you wanted um, to get some a steel string sound out of a nylon string guitar then yes I would thoroughly recommend these my own take on it and this is where I'm really at a bit of a stick I'm gonna have to leave them on here a bit longer and play a bit longer with them my own take on them I bought this Taylor Academy 12EN because I wanted um, a nylon string guitar in my arsenal in my collection I already have uh, an evasion uh, acoustic an evasion celebrity acoustic which I've had all my life and uh, uh, earned my living with that so I have that I also have a little um, parlor guitar which is also a steel string steel string guitar which is a lovely guitar as well and so I actually bought this because I wanted to add a nylon string guitar into my collection and because as I get older and the arthritis gets worse in my fingers I'm finding it a little bit harder to bar chords on your standard acoustic guitars but I have to say these bar absolutely beautifully my takeaway as I said I bought an Academy 12EN because I wanted to get into nylon string guitar, I wanted to get into classical guitar and um, the only advantage of putting, for me, the only advantage for me of putting these classical S steel string um, steel strings onto this guitar is to actually have a steel string or acoustic guitar with a wide neck because this has a 48 inch millimeter nut, it's not a full 
two inch classical uh, nut it's it's a 48 millimeter more like a, a hybrid nylon nut um, I think I will personally be going back to carbon strings or definitely nylon strings um, on this guitar because I, I want to have one guitar that's got nylon nylon strings on it so my advice to you if you're looking for a way of putting steel strings onto your classical guitar um, would I do it me probably not I would just see if I could go down the second hand shop and buy myself a cheap acoustic guitar if I wanted a steel string guitar uh, and vice versa um, if you've bought a classical or nylon string guitar because you wanted to play nylon strings and you like that warm mellow sound of a, of a nylon strung guitar then buy a classical guitar or buy a nylon string guitar and stick with that um, I probably won't be keeping these on here I'm gonna do a few covers with these strings on I think but I will be eventually going back to nylon strings uh, or carbon strings on this um, so little advantage to yourselves I will be continuing with all my uh, nylon string uh, reviews guitar strings and I'll also be doing continue with my series of ball end uh, nylon strings because I really like uh, that little advantage there of not having to tie all those knots on the back end listen I hope you've enjoyed this just um, uh, a bit of a, uh, a sound test really for you on the Tomastic Infield Classical S steel strings for a classical guitar who knows I might keep them on here I need to play them a little bit longer to be honest with you hope you've enjoyed it um, stay safe everyone have a great week if you have enjoyed it please don't forget to hit the like button which is down there somewhere um, if you haven't subscribed already the subscribe buttons over there and if you've enjoyed this video you might like the one that's going to pop up right there in that corner any minute now listen have a great week everyone um, I'll catch you very soon bye for now